right. Inquisitor. Inquisitor, I must speak with you. What is it? I must explain something first about the Montelier's fortunes. My family made their fortune as traders in Antiva, until a scandal exiled us from Orlais some ages ago. It devastated our finances. The Montelier's have, in fact, been in debt for over a hundred years. I had no idea your family's situation was so precarious. Hardly anyone outside the family does. For generations, we've done everything to keep creditors at bay. Sold our lands to stave off interest. It's just... It is infuriating to see my family still reduced to this. I'm to become head of our house. If I sell any more of our land, my family will become destitute. That cannot be my legacy to them. Most people worry about their next meal. Never mind an estate. I'm not blind. But I worry for my family. My foolish sister Yvette with her daydreams. My brothers trying to rebuild our fleet with their own hands. Is it wrong to hope they never know hardship? Is there anything I can do? I'd almost solved our problems. For a while. I negotiated a chance to reinstate the Montiliers as landed traders in Orlais. We could rebuild with that. But when I dispatched paperwork to Val Royale, <sighs> I've just learned my carriers were murdered, and the documents restoring my family's trading status destroyed. Do you have any idea who murdered them? Leliana made inquiries that bore success. Comte Boisvert, a nobleman in Val Royale, claims to know who killed my messengers. He has a request. That you come when I meet him, so he's seen publicly conferring with you. What will being seen with me gain the Comte? The Comte will drop hints at parties he's to meet with an important visitor. Allies and rivals will take note. Once he's met you, there will be speculation. The Comte will subtly spin reports to his advantage. He will use us. But if he knows who killed my people, I ask that we indulge him. If that's what it takes to get to the bottom of this, I'll meet this Comte with you. Thank you, Inquisitor. It means... You are too kind. I must know who killed my couriers just to harm my family. Before you is Servus of the Minrathus Circle of Magi. You met him and his venatory in the Western Approach. He admits to working for Corypheus, raising monsters and using magic for conquest. He also used his connections to smuggle magical artifacts out of the Approach, without his master's consent. Whether or not he's loyal to Corypheus has no bearing on his crimes. I was hired by a third party. I've no loyalty to him. Might you find that useful, your worship? I'm sorry, are you attempting to bargain with us? Bargain? I plead. I throw myself on your mercy. I also have friends in Tavinta who owe me large debts. Leave what happened in the approach behind us, Inquisitor and I can put them all at your disposal.
People have died because of you. Letting you walk free would be an insult to their memory. Throw him in the prison. We may question him later. Imprisonment? For how long? Inquisitor! Rivius is back. Oh, shit. You said he was a darkspawn or a magister. What is he really? I'm not sure. I don't think Corypheus really knows either. He's definitely a darkspawn, but when we found him, it was pretty obvious he hadn't heard that. He thinks he's a magister, a priest of Dumat, in fact. He says he broke into the Golden City, like in the Chantry tale. If you and Hawk defeated him once, we can do it again. We didn't just think Corypheus was dead. He was dead. No pulse, no breath, full of stab wounds. There wasn't a lot of room for doubt. It makes me wonder. I thought the Wardens imprisoned Corypheus to use him. Maybe they did it because he can't be killed. How did you and Hawk even wind up in a Grey Warden prison for ancient Darkspawn? Corypheus sent people after Hawk. He actually got control of an entire Carter clan. Made them drink Darkspawn blood. Weird shit. Uh, we tracked the Carter to an old dwarven fort or something in the mountains. Of course, it turned out to be a trap. They needed Hawk's blood to open the locks holding Corypheus, and they drew us into the prison to get it. There has to be a way to defeat Corypheus. We'll find it, don't worry. I hope you're right. Baker's breath, what have I let loose? You had nothing to do with this, Varric. I was the one who led Hawk to Corypheus. If I hadn't tracked the Carter to that ruin. But you've got more important things to do than listen to me worry. Just let me know when you want something shot. Another com Stone mat, Inquisitor. Do you have any insight into the stories these tiles are supposed to depict? Tell you what. You finish one, and I'll write it up. Who better, right? A good dwarven perspective. Another time. Best of the vein, Inquisitor. Something wrong with your tea? It is tea. I detest this stuff. But this morning, I need to shake the dreams from my mind. I may also need a favor. But you don't need anything from anyone. You're known for that. One of my oldest friends has been captured by mages, forced into slavery. I heard the cry for help as I slept. I'd be happy to help. What did these mages use to capture your friend? Blood magic? A summoning circle, I would imagine. I'm sorry? My friend is a spirit of wisdom. Unlike the spirits clamoring to enter our world through the rifts, it was dwelling quite happily in the Fade. It was summoned against its will, and wants my help to gain its freedom and return to the Fade. I thought spirits wanted to find their way into this world. Some do, certainly. Just as many Orlesian peasants wish they could journey to exotic Ravain. But not everyone wants to go to Ravain. My friend is an explorer, seeking lost wisdom and reflecting it. It would happily discuss philosophy with you, but it had no wish to come here physically. Do you have any idea what the mages want with your friend? No. It knows a great deal of lore and history, 
but a mage could learn that simply by speaking to it in the Fade. It is possible that they seek information it does not wish to give, and intend to torture it. All right. Let's go get your friend. Thank you. I got a sense of my friend's location before I awoke. I'll mark it on our map. I'd like to ask you about Tevinter. Popular topic. Anything specific? Corypheus is a figure out of Tevinter history. He was a magister. Yes, but that was a different time. The Imperium's power was at its peak then. The Civil War had ended. The Magisterium was united, its armies scooping up bits of Thedas like candy. The magisters who entered the Black City. It was a demonstration of how exceptional Tevinter had become. But who were they? No one knows. There's no record of a magister named Corypheus. All this happened 1400 years ago, before the Blight nearly wiped us out. There are no records. Today, people half believe it's all just a story. And that's what I believed. We have evidence the story is very much real. But not who Corypheus is. If he even remembers. There used to be families who claimed some of those magisters as their own. That stopped when the Chantry appeared. Then, it was shameful, and the families distanced themselves from the tale. All we know is that some men and women entered the Black City looking for the old gods. What did they find? According to Corypheus, nothing. And only he could tell us more. That's all I wanted to know. Fair enough. I need to talk to you. Oh. I am, as you say down south, all ears. Let's do something interesting. More interesting than wandering the countryside killing random strangers? Perish the thought. This castle of yours isn't exactly filled with diversions, but we can figure something out. joined a fellowship with a distinguished history. Night enchanters have long served the divine. That is why I pursued this path. Mages do not always have to be at odds with the Chantry. But I understand why so many are, and I don't blame them. No matter, you have chosen well, and are in good company. I had friends who were night enchanters, who served at Justinia's side, who died with her. It's good to see new mages keeping this flame alive. Anything I should know? Our agent stationed near Adamant reports strange sounds. Curious lights around the fortress. At least two scouts have gone missing. We must make our move, and quickly. I'll leave you to your work.
Good book. Ah! I don't know what you're talking about. No. What are you hiding exactly? I'm not hiding anything. Exactly. I think you are. It's of no interest to you, I'm certain. It's a book. I can see that. It's one of Varric's tales. Swords and Shields, the latest chapter. So you like to read? What's wrong with that? It's frivolous. There are more important things for me to do. That's just her favorite. Nobody asked you, Tevinter. <laughs> I couldn't finish the last one you lent me. I actually feel dumber for having tried. It's literature. Smutty literature. Whatever you do, don't tell Varric. Why not? I think Varric would be pleased to have another fan. Pleased? Yes, that's one word for it. They're terrible. And magnificent. And this one ends in a cliffhanger. I know Varric is working on the next. He must be. You! You could ask him to finish it. Command him to... Pretend you don't know this about me. Inquisitor? We'll talk later. Hey, boss. See you later, Bo. Nice talking with you, boss. And how much did you need? Work out there, boss. Those blighted nugs won't infect anything now. Shade, thanks for joining in on that escort for Lady Montillier. Whatever. She's great, right? Training hard, Inquisitor. You have the best people, and we're gonna help. serious about mage stuff magic things how about how about not so much just asking for not so much magic great yeah is your network of contacts still active after what happened after lord arsehole and vichelle of course he may have killed people but that just means there's more who hate him you should be one of them but maybe not so watch out for that. Is Red Jenny real? Or was she always just you and your friends? Dunno. Don't you care? Not if it works. I mean, Red is scary because... Blood. And Jenny is... Look, nobody fears the bunch of people who do random stuff. And besides, it's easy. Nobles want a bogeyman because they need to believe normal people can't get at them. Numbers, right? It don't have to be so complicated. Doesn't this mean people think you're guilty of more than you actually do? I suppose. Does it matter? Shouldn't it? Important people kill over imagined insults. I've made more than enough real ones, so no. I don't suppose it does. We annoyed some nobles. Does that really help all that much? Gets you paid, for one. You seem happy enough about that. I don't get what's so hard to understand. Your stuff works the same. Your inquisition, I mean. Punch a bully, people like you. Do it because they asked, or let them think they asked. They like it even more. It's inspiring. 
even if it sometimes goes tits up and they take a hit back. You know, like Haven. I get it, kind of. We just don't think of what you do as that kind of inspiration. Well, we should take a good hard look at where our people come from. All the same people. At least my baddies are understandable. No kicking in the sky there. We'll talk another time. It's all good, innit? They don't. <laughs> it's just what I heard. She spins, plucking strings, matching wits and words. An admiral who will never send ships of her own. I'd like to talk with you about Templars. They're heavy with forgotten songs, like Varric. Some of them are too loud. It's hard to stay near them. Cullen is softer, but demons asked questions that hurt him. Evangeline was kinder. I want to explain, but I... Reese's mother spoke to spirits, but not to him. Then she died for a Templar he loved. Words just bounce off the edges. What's your general opinion of Templars? Some like hurting mages. It makes them happy, or less afraid, or... Dreams again. Woke up shaking, stalking the ground for one who looks like her. Always some rule being broken. But not all Templars listen when whispers crawl around inside them. They try to protect people. Like Cullen. The good ones remember that mages are people. Can you tell me more about how the Templars feel to you? They feel older than they look. They've been changed, and their bodies are incomplete now. The Lyrium helps, but their bodies always want to connect to something older, bigger than they are. That's why they block magic. They reach for that other thing, and magic has no room to come in. Like when I listen to Varric. Can you tell me more about how the Red Templars are different? The Red Lyrium is different, darker, daggers under the skin. It eats you inside until you're nothing. They hear a different song. The song behind the door old whispers want opened. They are dead and dark and done. I'll talk to you later. Probably. What do you need? We tracked Eriman to Adamant Fortress. Hopefully we can stop this madness before it goes any further. How could the Wardens willingly sacrifice their own members to summon demons? Grey Wardens leave their lives behind and dedicate themselves to fighting the Blight, no matter the cost. Our actions may be brutal, even reprehensible, but we know that the alternative is worse. The rituals, the sacrifices, it's too far, even for me. But I can understand them making the decision. Had I not known Corypheus was involved, I might have bowed my head and accepted my orders. We'll talk later. First the Templars, now the Grey Wardens. Both devoted their lives to fighting evil. Now they serve it. If I was possessed by a demon, would you? I would rather not consider it.
Did you leave anyone behind in Kirkwall? No. I fear I made few friends there, and my family's in Ferelden. No one special caught your interest? Not in Kirkwall. You and the Red Templar's leader seem to have personal history. When I arrived in Kirkwall, Samson and I shared quarters. He seemed a decent man at first. Knight Commander Meredith later expelled Samson for erratic behavior. He ended up begging on Kirkwall streets. He committed further crimes, but managed to evade the Order's justice. Now Samson serves Corypheus as his loyal general. Why do you think Samson joined Corypheus? He had a chronic lyrium addiction. He spent every last coin buying it from local smugglers. Perhaps Corypheus flattered his vanity, gave him purpose as well as lyrium. Perhaps that's all it took. It sounds like Samson had a miserable life. The Order expelled him, but he had choices. He could have found another path. I don't understand how he became so powerful. Even with Red Lyrium, Samson's glory days are long behind him. Heard you found something that had to do with Wardens. Would have liked to have seen it. Let's talk about the Grey Wardens. You must know a lot about them. Ah, the Wardens. I'm afraid we're less exciting than we seem. How do the Wardens deal with Archdemons? Short answer. Stick it with swords until it stops moving. Wardens are in all the stories. If it was that easy, anyone could do it. No, it really is that simple. Just because the Archdemon is magic doesn't mean it can't be killed with swords. It just... has to be a... Grey Warden sword. Look, it's not the killing blow that's the problem. It's getting the dragon to the point where it's vulnerable. Where it actually can be killed. There's no short answer for that, I'm afraid. Have you been hearing the calling, too? I know what Corypheus is. He has no sway over me. Let's continue this at another time. As you wish. I'll be here if you need me. A request has been made of you, Inquisitor. Here it is. What is your evaluation of how we're doing? Adequate. Based on a partial improvements to Skyhold. As you were. Yes, Inquisitor. Greetings again, Inquisitor. I trust everything is well with the mages? There have been a few scuffles with your Templars. But overall, it is going well. You were once a Grey Warden? Mine is an unusual circumstance, Inquisitor. Normally, one is part of the Order until death. But long ago, I found myself stripped of what made me a warden. They tried to reinitiate me, but nothing worked. Nor could they figure out how it happened. So I was sent to the Circle of Magi, the first warden ever to be kicked out. <laughs> Quite the achievement. I'll leave you to it. It's a noble calling, the Knight Enchanter. You have joined the ranks of the most select mages. You should be commended. So few have the discipline necessary. I didn't realize you were a Knight Enchanter, Vivian. Of course I am, darling. Knight Enchanters serve in the highest echelons of the Chantry and Circle. Where else would I be? I'm pleased you approve of my choice. You have your moments, my dear. Your lost books have been found. Your assistance in this matter will not be forgotten, I assure you. Did you need something, darling? I've got a minute if you need something.
Cassandra is waiting for the next issue of Swords and Shields. I must have heard that wrong. It sounded like you just said that Cassandra read my books. That's exactly what I just said. Maybe I'm just going crazy. Wait, did you say the romance serial? Oh, she'll be waiting for a while then. I haven't finished it and wasn't planning to. That book is easily the worst I've ever written. The last issue barely sold enough to pay for the ink. Well, Cassandra seems to be hooked on it. And I honestly thought a hole in the sky was the weirdest thing that could happen. So, you want me to finish writing the latest issue of my worst serial for Cassandra? Oh, that's such a terrible idea. I have to do it. On one condition, I get to be there when you give her the book. You've got a deal. I'll get to work then. You know, the fact that the book is terrible just makes it more worthwhile somehow. Inquisitor. Good, good. This is exactly what I was hoping for. What? Is that why we're here? How do you even know about the amulet? I hope you aren't intending to help me get it back. I can do this myself. I apologize, but that won't be possible. Do forgive me, Inquisitor. But when I heard of your association with Monsieur Pallas, I could not resist. You see, the young man sold me a rather valuable amulet many months ago. Then he returned, asking to buy it back. Why would I simply sell it? Not only is it useful, there are others who could offer much more. You loathsome little cretin! That's why you were so stubborn. There is no need for insults, monsieur. I am interested only in doing good business. Aren't you a merchant? Why not just sell it back? I am not a fence, monsieur. I only bought your friend's amulet because of what it is. I do business in the Imperium. Having a birthright, even one not your own, is most useful in select situations. Huh. He's got the right of it there. That's why I gave the young man so much. If he relinquished it, how is that my doing? You want something from me. What would you like? The League de Celestine is an organization of wealthy noblemen in Orlais. I would join, but I lack the lineage. If someone like you applied pressure, they would admit me. That would be worth the return of the amulet. What do you think, Dorian? Leave the man be. I got myself into this. I should get myself out of it. Perhaps you should accept your friend's help, monsieur. Kafas, I know what you think. And he's not my friend. He's... Never mind what he is. As you desire. Even so, that is a price. I shall accept no other. Are you certain you want to risk angering me? The Herald of Andraste. I... Monsieur... I only seek... I'm well aware of what you seek. Then you must know I am within my rights. You are not the kind of man to disregard them. Very well. I'll do as you ask. What? You're going to give in to this cretin? Do you want your amulet back? I... Yes, I do. I simply... 
Much obliged, Your Worship. The moment I receive an invitation from the League, I'll have the amulet delivered. It's been an honor doing business with you. Influence mongering. I don't want to be in your debt. I don't want to be in anyone's debt. You don't think? I don't want to discuss it. Houses affected by the loss of heaven. The land is no, only I did not see him. The, girl has the report was vague and heart. moved on and calling deeper than death. Their and ways are so secretive, you. so interesting. And concerning. They can conscript whoever they want, you know. Taken by a warden. Not I know being with the Inquisition, but you will a not learned station here. child is a I blessing upon his parents and, and on to the yours. Yours. A rogue group cannot simply set up shop in the capital. We're just here for communication. Less men than your merchants' caravans. We'll stay out of oh, your way. Creator, see, see me that you near, do. For I walk only where you would bid me. Stand only in places you have blessed. Wonderful. My maker know my heart. Take from me a life of sorrow. Lift me from a world of pain. Judge me. Do you know where this noble wanted to meet us? I do. The Comte Boisvert has invited us to his mansion, not far from here. I pray he clears up the deaths of my messengers, as promised. Lead the way. Welcome, my friend. Thank you for seeing us, Count Boisvert. The honor is mine. Please, sit. It's an honor to assist two such distinguished guests. We appreciate your help, Comte. The death of Lady Montilly's servants must weigh heavily on you. Have you heard of the House of Repose? The Assassin's League? My contacts obtained a copy of a document in the archive. Contract for a life. The House of Repose is hereby sworn to eliminate anyone attempting to overturn the Montelier's trading exile in Orlais. Overly complicated assassination plots are part of Orlesian politics, I take it. They're all too common, I'm afraid. The contract was signed by a noble family. The Du Paraquettes. But the Du Paraquettes died out as a noble line over 60 years ago. Indeed. But the contract was signed 109 years ago. How can a family try to kill you after they died out? The Du Paraquettes were our rivals. They drove the Montelliers from Val Royale. This contract was drawn up over a hundred years ago, but it wasn't invoked until I tried to overturn my family's exile. Unpleasant though it may be, the House of Repose is merely fulfilling its contractual duties. If the people who wanted your family dead are gone, why are the assassins still after you? A contract is a contract, Inquisitor. Orlesian businesses live and die by their reputations. The entire guild's welfare would be endangered if an agreement was tossed aside on a whim of time or fate. She's quite right, Your Worship. The House of Repose is doing what it feels necessary by its standards. I assume you have a thought or two on this, Josephine. The Du Paraquettes still have descendants under the common branch. If we elevate them to nobility, a Du Paraquette could annul the contract on my life. Uh, that will take time, Lady Montelier. Time during which the House of Repose will be obliged to haunt you. Will they now? You are exceedingly well informed. You're not to have said you'd heard rumors at best. A bit of subterfuge. This contract on your life is an ugly business. One the House of Repose deeply regrets. But this is Orlé. Even an assassin's word is his bond. Does Comte Boisvert actually exist? 
Absolutely. The Count's offer to reveal the killers of Lady Montilla's messengers was genuine. So was his information somehow. A nun to be tied up later. I'm guessing the actual Comte Boisvert met with a fatal accident. Comte Boisvert slumbers in a nearby closet. Nothing more. The contract on Lady Montilla's life is so unusual, we felt the courtesy of an explanation was in order. It is appreciated, monsieur. Your idea to seek out du paraquet to revoke our orders is uh, an interesting one. I wish you luck. I did not come to shed blood today, Inquisitor. Only to speak. Might I pass? Why warn us about your contract and let us go? In Orlais, it is only decent to inform those involved in a contract when extraordinary circumstances conspire. And the Guild's reputation would suffer if you ignored the contract. I quite understand. Thank you, my lady. May we conclude with my departure? Go, then. Good day, Your Worship. My lady, I pray we'll never meet again. Well, I didn't think our meeting would end like this. We'll deal with these assassins. I have some thoughts. Let's discuss them back at Skyhold. I'll feel safer with the castle walls around me. Do you hear something? Mm. Oh, goodness. Uh, Comte Poivre, is that you? Mm. Oh, the lock's been broken off. We'll find a saw. Mm. I realize the cabinet is quite valuable, Comte, but surely... Mm. A... Locksmith, then? Mm. Mm. As you wish. Mm. I'm so sorry, Inquisitor. I never thought my family's trading status would trap us in an assassin's plot. You couldn't have known it would lead to this house of repose coming after you. It still shouldn't have slipped past me. I've tracked down the last du paraquettes. If they become gentry, they can annul the contract on my life. We'll require a noble from Val Royaux to sponsor them, a judge to provide documents, a minister to ratify them. It's so like you to take the longest course of action, even when your life is at stake. I assume you already know everything about this mess. There is a faster way, Josephine. The original contract on your life is in the vaults of the House of Repose. If my agents infiltrate it and destroy the original, the assassin will have no obligation to chase you. Liliana, please. I want no more bloodshed over a personal affair. Don't be so stubborn, Josie. How long will it take you to gather these favors in Val Royaux? If destroying the original contract will satisfy the Guild, I say we do it. But I'm sure my plan will work, Inquisitor. Whatever happens, I'll assign you more guards. The House of Repose won't be idle long. I appreciate it, but I still believe elevating the Duparakets will solve this. First, we need to perform some favors in Barwayo. I'd be happy to discuss where we could begin. Any news on the House of Repose, Inquisitor? You said I'd have to do some favors in Val Royaux if we want to make the Du Paraquettes lords. The Countess Dion is our first step. Her lover, a mage from the White Spire, is missing. Bring her news of him and she'll be very amenable to sponsoring the Du Paraquettes as lords.
Let us begin. To work? What have you done now? I get it, Seeker. You're still sore after our spat. I'm not a child, Varric. Do not suggest I'm without reason. Uh, a peace offering. The next chapter of Swords and Shields. I hear you're a fan. This is your doing. Oh, yes. Do you really think I'd miss this? Well, if you're not interested, you're not interested. Still needs editing anyhow. Wait! <laughs> you're probably wondering what happens to the Night Captain after the last chapter. <gasps> Nothing should happen to her. She was falsely accused. Well, it turns out the Guardsman... Don't tell me! <clears throat> This is the part where you thank the Inquisitor. I don't normally give sneak peeks, after all. I... thank you. This was everything I'd hoped. I know how you feel. I wonder if I have time to read the first part. But don't forget to tell all your friends, if you have any. Oh, completely worth it. Of course, Durin's theory of high dragon behavior is absurd, but... Oh. Yes? Did you need something? My people have translated that to Vinter manuscript. Oh. Studies on dragon hunting patterns? Migrations? Ha! Durin's theory that dragons can't see the color blue is refuted. With those dreadful raiders out of the way, we can finally lure out the abyssal high dragon. You should have the honor, my friend. I've made note of the appropriate spots in the wastes for you to place lures. Place this bait, and then... wait. <laughs> it will be a momentous achievement in Draconology. I'm off to plant the bait for the High Dragon. I cannot wait to hear your observations. You must make note of how she circles the hunting area. Return whenever you like. I'm always glad of the company of a fellow scholar.
She'll be here soon. Prepare yourself. Oh, look! A dragon! What a perfect way to ruin our day.
What was that? Oh, my fellow researcher. What can I do for you? The High Dragon attacked me when I planted the bait. I'm afraid it's dead. She attacked? How wonderful! You had a first-hand view of her behavior. Did you take any notes on her aggressive posturing? I suppose you wouldn't have. <laughs> no matter. I should very much like to interview you. Uh, at a later time, of course. I could join your Inquisition. My expertise could be of use, and your scouts could help me find other specimens. Certainly. I'm sure the Inquisition could use a Draconologist. Excellent. I'm sure my research will be of great use to you.